Today we're having pot roast, mac and cheese, and kale. Let's get it. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me on another episode of Cutting Up With Bay. Today we're going to make some pot roast. And with our pot roast, we're going to have some mac and cheese and some kale. Before we even get started, do me a favor. Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button so we can keep cranking these videos out. So these are some of the ingredients I'm going to use. And I'll leave all the information in the description box below. Now that we've washed off our meat with some cold or cool water, we're gonna season this meat up with some really delicious seasonings. And I'm gonna use my Chef Bay seasoning salt. You can get your Chef Bay seasonings as well as your Chef Bay utensils and aprons at cuttingupwithbay.com. And all that information is in the lower left-hand side of the screen. So we're gonna season both sides of our roast and we're gonna let our roast cook for like two or three minutes on this side. And then we're gonna flip it over and let it cook for another two or three minutes. And then we're gonna set that aside. So I have some celery here and I'm gonna chop this up along with some other vegetables. And Sunday dinners is always a fun thing growing up. I'm sure my family is not the only family that will link up with Big Mama and your aunts and uncles and them and just eat some good food, have some good laughs, have a good time. And sometimes I just feel like we don't have those times like we used to before bonding, just family time chatting with one another to see if you know we're okay especially with covid and everything that's going on and sunday dinners is just a way for me and my family to bond and to just really kind of kick back and relax so we can be rejuvenated for the new work week or the new school week so now that it's time to take our roast out this skillet i'm going to put it into a roasting pan and this roasting pan brings back so many memories of my grandmother because she would make some of the best dishes in that very pan that you just saw. So now that we've taken the roast out, I have some leftover bits on the bottom of the pan, a little leftover juices from that roast. So I'm going to throw in two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to let that melt. And I'm going to just quickly and lightly saute my vegetables, um, my garlic, my celery, and my onions. And some people skip this step and that's totally okay. Some people just take the vegetables and throw it into the roasting dish. That's totally okay. I personally love trying to build flavors and by doing this, I'm getting not only the flavors and the brown bits off the bottom of the pan, but my vegetables can soak up some of that flavor. And I've added just some pink salt to this and some red pepper flakes. I mean, we're gonna add more seasonings once we assemble everything. But for this, just a pinch of salt and just a pinch of red pepper will go a long way. So I let these cook for about maybe three to four minutes on low heat. And now it's time to start assembling our roast so we can bake it. So I'm gonna pour these vegetables in. I'm gonna put my carrots in next. And carrots can get soft very fast so I don't wanna cook them or saute them first and then bake them. 
baking them will be perfectly fine. It's that onion and that celery that's got a little more texture to it. So we're going to add some beef broth. We're gonna add some red wine. You can use whatever red wine you like. And if you don't like using wine to cook with, you can just substitute that wine for more broth or even water. So I've added a little bit of browning. I'm going to take this Lipton soup mix, put it in a bowl. I'm going to take a small pack of beef bouillon. I'm going to add some flour. And once I add all these dry ingredients to the bowl, I'm going to take my Chef Bay whisk and I'm going to pour a little beef broth into this and I'm going to whisk it until it looks smooth. Trust me, this is the secret. You definitely want to do this because this will change your entire roast experience, okay? <laughs> so I just want to make sure everything is in there good and fully incorporated. I have these potatoes also. I'm going to wash them off and then I'm going to stuff those in the pan as well. And feel free to go in whatever order you want to if you want to put the potatoes down first and then put the vegetables on top like it doesn't matter and I say that all the time in my videos it's about having fun and making good food and a detail that small such as putting the potatoes down first or putting the vegetables down first is not a big deal we're gonna add some rosemary and some thyme as well we're going to put the top on, throw it in the oven. I'm cooking this on 350 degrees. I cooked it for about two hours and about 15 minutes, but the cooking time will kind of vary depending on how big or how small your roast is. So now that this has baked, I'm taking off the stems and the leaves that are, you know, pretty big and i'm just checking out the tenderness of my roast it looks good it smells even better and i kind of just want to eat some right now but i got to keep my composure so i can finish making my video so now i'm almost done with dinner i'm just whipping up some mac and cheese and i'm going to put this in the oven as well if you have not checked out my mac and cheese recipe, make sure you check it out on my page. It's below the other videos that I have on this page. So I have some kale. I'm gonna hook that up really, really quick. Again, I'm using my Chef Bay utensils. I'm using my Chef Bay seasoning with my Chef Bay apron on. So make sure y'all get with the whole program, okay? <laughs> So this is my favorite part, as you guys know, I love plating the food. So we're gonna put our kale and our red peppers on first. We're then gonna take a nice heaping hearty spoon of mac and cheese. In fact, we gonna get two scoops of mac and cheese. And I'm thinking as I'm recording, my grandma would cook dinner no matter how hot it was, no matter how cold it was. It can be 100 degrees outside and she would have on some meatloaf and some mashed potatoes and some string beans. And I just really inspired to be like her when I grow up. And sometimes people be like, oh my God, you made all of that stuff. And I just be looking like, well, yeah, my grandma did it. Well, why can't I? So I just want to shout her out again because sometimes I really find myself thinking about her and missing her. And I find myself thinking, wow, this is all because of her. So Sunday dinner is complete. We have roast, some potatoes, we have some mac and cheese, and we have some kale. I'm just wiping my plate off so that it looks presentable. 
So here we have it. Amazing, delicious Sunday dinner. Something that you and your family can enjoy. Actually, you can enjoy this any day of the week, not just on Sundays. So make sure you guys hit that like button if you like what you see. And make sure you guys follow me so that way you'll be notified once I drop more recipes. Thanks for everything, guys. I appreciate it. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. And we'll chat on the next video. Bye.